Okay, Craig, I've got your latest iteration up. And just listen, I just want to say, man, you're working hard and it, it's showing. I think you're doing a wonderful job here. And, and you're, the effort that you're putting into this is, is, is remarkable. And I just want to commend you on that. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Um, boy, my PDF rendering is just, I don't know what is going on with my computer, but I can't, I just can't even zoom in or zoom out here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take a look at something. Oops. We're going to do this a different way. I'm just going to go ahead and download this. Um, this will only take a second. I'm sorry, I should have done this before, but let's go ahead and open that guy up. And it was, uh, Adobe um, Acrobat should open relatively quick here. So, all right, here we go. So um, while that's opening, let's just go ahead and take a look. So I think there's just a couple of anomalies here and some and things that would probably need to be addressed in terms of being not like the other elements in the poster. I think that this gradient right here, pink to purple, I, I, I'm not seeing that as being harmonious in terms of color and consistency. You've got red on all of them. It makes sense to me to leave the header red on the remaining graphics that are at the bottom the, un, under the uh, what can be done, kind of the call to action area. Um, so I would keep those consistent at the red banner um, color for the other infographics. The other, oh, here we go. It's up now. So we can go ahead and take a look. Okay, so the other thing is, and, and this is a really, really good test, and this is why I love looking at work in Acrobat, because we can kind of duplicate this zooming out a little bit. And it's great, because if this is a poster, we should be able to clearly delineate focal points and uh, points of hierarchy based on zooming out, um, which mimics the um, uh, effect of looking at the, the work from a distance. So right now, I think that we're a little dilute, a little diluted through here. I, I don't think she's prominent enough as a focal point. Um, so that's something I think that 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 we we need to work on. I also think that the illustration itself is is not quite as detailed as it detailed as it could be. Um, I mean, you've got these really wonderful effects here in all of your graphics. You almost got some three D stuff going on here. And then we see this this kind of really flat, really flat character. Um, so I'm wondering if if that should be replaced with a more complex picture of a of a, a character displaying more detail, more depth, and more of dimension, just to be more in accordance with these these dimensional icons that you're using for the infographics proper. Okay, this infographic, I was mentioning anomalies before. This is an anomaly right here because this is the only one. This is tucked up and placed behind her. So the others are kind of around this one as well. It's behind her head. This one's behind her body. Let's move those away from the graphic like the other ones. And that's just not a conceptual. I mean, I'm not real sure if there's a conceptual tie between these two um, and the way they're tucked behind the character. Um, but it it's it creates inconsistency. So I would revisit that uh, particular area. Other than that, those are my only my only three comments. Um, this graphic right here, I, I think it's it's really confusing to understand if this graphic is associated with this um, illustration or with this uh, uh, statistic right here. Um, so you want to definitely decide that, but I don't. I think it's a little ambiguous to try to use it for both. If indeed that is what it is, I kind of looks like that's what it is because you've got park purple sparkle the puppy for twenty four ninety nine, but sparkles looking at the main character, indicating a relationship between these two. Um, also based on proximity and overlap, it's also indicating a relationship between these two. So I'm not even really sure if that's the best approach here. I think it creates some visual confusion. Um, so again, in summary, I think just get rid of the anomalies. In other words, the parts that are not like the others here and here. Um, try to get a, a little bit more of an interesting um, central main focal point character because right now there's a disconnect between the dimensionality of the icons used to present the data and the actual uh, uh, illustration of the character. Um, look, composition in the header areas, I'm sorry, composition, I'm sorry, consistency in the composition of the header areas, um, specifically as they relate to color. And then other than that, I, I think we're really, really looking fantastic. One thing I would recommend, I think, actually, no, the, the title area is pretty darn good. 
pretty darn good there. Um, now, since this is an introduction and these are actual statistics, I'm wondering if it wouldn't make sense to remove the box here and just present that white type uh, for me, M Emily, white type over the background. Okay, uh, definitely working out beautifully. It's, uh, like I said, the amount of work here and the effort is, is remarkable. And, I, and again, I, I kudos to you for that. Thank you very much. Peace is coming out just beautifully. So keep up what you're doing. Okay, if you have any questions at all, please let me know. Thanks, Craig.